I'm just incredibly disappointed with my team. Incredibly disappointed. No fight, no effort, no maturity. I don't even know who they were tonight. And I want to apologize to every fan that came out to support us. That's how I Ole Miss women's basketball. Um, just really disappointed. You know, it felt like in that, after that first time out of break and, and the first quarter, that's when things kind of started to shift after the, all of that. The momentum was on the all side of it for the next three and a half quarters. It felt like then. What did you notice come out of that break that AM was doing that they weren't doing that first quarter? I just thought, I, I thought they were fighting from the first quarter. I just thought we had a run, and, and then it was their time to have a run, and that's the game. The game is a game of runs. I just thought from even when we had the lead, I thought that they were fighting. We were missing layups like we missed 10 layups in the first half you know like I put someone on the line that shoots 80 percent she couldn't make a free throw like I'm just I, I I don't have words like we just did not compete tonight and it is completely unacceptable just kind of on a specific sequence here uh, did you get an explanation why you guys didn't get oh no I some they said that she got a, a technical foul and an intentional foul. I did not see the intentional foul, but of course they saw it. And so she got disqualified. Well, weren't, weren't you supposed to get free throws? Wasn't a foul called on main and They said that the free throws that, uh, that Taya shot were the free throws. She wasn't even allowed to shoot the free throws because she was disqualified. That's so I had to bring someone in to shoot. At this point in the season, how do you address those things that you're talking about in terms of First effort? thing in the morning. That's how I address it, first thing in the morning. <clears throat> Any other questions for Coach? With the week until your next game, I guess, how do you address not letting this one snowball into you know, a bigger losing streak? I mean, we have to work. We have to work. So oh, this is a very important month for us, and we have to figure out how to be the toughest team every time we play on the floor. And I feel like, you know, when you've seen us, most times if we win, it's we're the toughest team on the floor. Not the most talented. I, th I thought Tennessee was more talented than we were. I just thought we were the toughest team. And we have to, my team has to grow up. Every time something does not go right, it does not have to be a snowball effect like this. Okay, Toddy went out, so what? Like, we were still in the game. And this is the second time, you know, foul trouble at South Carolina, so what? We were still in the game. We have to mature. And, I, and that's what I'm gonna, we have to be, they have to be women. This is called women's basketball. And so that is what we're gonna work on, being women about it. And I'm just really disappointed in, in, in my group's effort. And, you know, that's, I got to look in the mirror, my staff, and, and, and then we go from there. But we, we got to work to fix it. I mean, I don't know, we're six and four. Like, we got more basketball to go. We just have to fix it. We have to be the toughest team every time we step out on the floor, period. Are there, are there things that you can do as a coach to try to create that emotional maturity that you're talking about, or does that just yeah. have to happen? No. Practice. Practice makes perfect. And, I, and that's why I'm shocked, because we had, like, two really good days of practice. And so, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I was not expecting this. I was expecting a very tough game, because Texas A&M is super talented. Um... You know, they got scores at every position, as you can see. And, uh, but, but 41 to 29, like, is this a joke? Like, that's 16 offensive rebounds. Like, where was our toughness tonight? We weren't the toughest team. And so we have to show that to them, and, and we have to try to get better. Just six games left. How do you kind of keep the team, like, bought in, I guess, and making sure it doesn't snowball even further, like you were saying. I mean, I got to win it. I don't get to play.
if I got to play, we wouldn't have lost the way we did tonight. You know, so they have to want it. Great, thanks everyone. Thank you.